Bella May was psyched. She had been waiting for this moment for what felt like forever. SpongeBob SquarePants was coming to town. The excitement was palpable in the air. He was having a meet and greet at the mall. Bella May loved SpongeBob. She had collected every piece of SpongeBob merchandise she could find. She watched his show every day, never missing an episode. It was her favorite part of the day. There was just one problem. Bella May was grounded. She had been caught leaving her dirty dishes in the sink again. No way. You're grounded for leaving your dirty dishes in the sink. You know the rules. Bella May felt a wave of disappointment wash over her. She had been so excited. Bella May thought it was totally unfair. She had been looking forward to this meet and greet forever. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. She had been counting down the days, dreaming of meeting her hero. She had to find a way to go. She couldn't let this chance slip away. Bella May paced her room, racking her brain. She had to come up with a plan. An idea struck her. She could sneak out while her mom was busy. It was risky, but she was determined. She could sneak out while her mom was busy. She knew it was risky, but she had to try. Bella May knew it was risky. If she got caught, the consequences would be severe, but SpongeBob was worth it. She took a deep breath, clutching her SpongeBob plushie and made up her mind. She was going to meet her hero, no matter what. The mall was packed. Bella May was ecstatic. She had been looking forward to this day for weeks, ever since she saw the posters announcing the event. It was like stepping into Bikini Bottom. There were decorations everywhere, from jellyfish hanging from the ceiling to life-sized cutouts of SpongeBob and his friends. She could even hear the Krusty Krab music playing. The familiar tunes made her feel like she was part of the show. Bella May joined the line. The excitement was palpable, with kids chattering about their favorite episodes and characters. She couldn't wait to meet SpongeBob. She had her autograph book ready and a big smile on her face. The line moved slowly, but Bella May didn't mind. She chatted with other kids, sharing stories about their favorite SpongeBob moments. She was too busy taking in the atmosphere. The decorations, the music, and the laughter made it feel like a dream come true. Kids were laughing and shouting. The joy was infectious, and Bella May felt like she was floating on a cloud. Someone was even dressed up as Squidward. He was grumpy, just like in the show, and it made everyone laugh. Finally, it was her turn. Her heart raced as she stepped forward. Bella May walked up to SpongeBob and froze. She couldn't believe she was standing right in front of her hero. He was even cooler in person. His big, friendly eyes and wide smile made her feel special. Hiya, kiddo. SpongeBob's voice was cheerful and welcoming. Bella May giggled. She felt a wave of happiness wash over her. SpongeBob sounded exactly like he did on TV. It was like a dream come true. They took a picture together, and Bella May got a Krabby Patty. She couldn't wait to show the photo to her friends. It was the best day ever. Bella May knew she would remember this day forever. A perfect memory of Bikini Bottom Bliss. Meanwhile, Nicki Minaj had just realized something was wrong. Very wrong. Bella May was gone. Nicki had been working on her new album. She hadn't even noticed Bella May sneaking out. Nicki raced to Bella May's room. It was empty. Panic surged through Nicki. Where could Bella May be? Then it hit her. The SpongeBob meet and greet. Nicki had seen the flyers. She knew how much Bella May loved SpongeBob. Nikki grabbed her car keys and bolted out the door. Nikki Minaj was fuming. She spotted Bella May in the crowd. Bella May was still riding the high of meeting SpongeBob. She didn't even see her mom coming. Bella May. Bella May froze. She turned around slowly. Her mom did not look happy. Nikki marched over and grabbed Bella May's arm. We are leaving now. Bella May's punishment was swift and severe. No phone, no TV, no SpongeBob. And worst of all, no going out. Bella May was stuck in her room. She knew she messed up. But did it have to be this bad? The next day, Bella May was still fuming. She had spent the entire night tossing and turning, unable to shake off the anger that had settled deep within her. She couldn't believe she was grounded. It wasn't fair. She had only been trying to help, but now she was stuck inside, staring out the window at the other kids playing. Hey, Bella, 
I brought you your favorite oatmeal cookies. Remember how much you love them? Thought they might cheer you up a bit. Maybe we can talk about what happened. Bella May glared at the cookies. They reminded her of how unfair everything was. She felt like no one understood her. The cookies, once her favorite treat, now seemed like a cruel joke. They were a symbol of her frustration and helplessness. She was still mad at her mom. She felt betrayed and misunderstood. She was mad at SpongeBob. Even her favorite cartoon couldn't make her smile today. And now, she was mad at the cookies. They were just another reminder of her bad day. Come on, Bella. It's not the cookies' fault. They're just here to make you feel better. Maybe give them a chance. They're just here to make you feel better. Sometimes a little sweetness can help, you know? Bella May had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad idea. She was tired of feeling powerless and decided to take matters into her own hands. An evil grin spread across her face. She knew exactly what she was going to do. This was going to be good. She couldn't wait to put her plan into action and show everyone just how clever she could be. Hey, Talia, want to see something cool? Bella May said sweetly. Talia, clueless, leaned closer. In a flash, Bella May smashed the oatmeal cookie into Talia's face. Bella May! Talia sputtered, oatmeal dripping down her chin. Bella May was laughing hysterically. It was mean, but she didn't care. She shoved Talia hard. Talia tumbled backward, right into the pool. Splash! Talia surfaced, sputtering and crying. Bella May couldn't stop laughing. That was even funnier than she imagined, until she heard her mum's voice. Bella May! Nicki Minaj was beyond angry. This was worse than sneaking out. This was downright malicious. Bella May's grounding was extended indefinitely. No more friends, no more fun, no more anything, Nikki declared. Days turned into weeks. Bella May was miserable. She missed her friends. She even missed going to school. One day, Ariana Grande, Bella May's best friend, decided to visit. She felt bad for Bella May. Ariana snuck past Nicki Minaj and into Bella May's room. They were so excited to see each other. They started gossiping and giggling. Bella May had missed this. Maybe being grounded wasn't so bad if it meant seeing Ariana. Their laughter was short-lived. Nicki Minaj caught them. Ariana, I can't believe you'd sneak behind my back. Nicki yelled. Ariana stammered an apology. She hadn't meant to cause any trouble. Nicki turned her fury to Bella May. You're not supposed to have visitors. You're grounded, remember? Bella May's heart sank. She'd been caught red-handed, and it was all her fault that Ariana was in trouble. This time, Nicki Minaj didn't hold back. No more phone calls, no more music, and absolutely no more visitors. Bella May's grounding was doubled. She was officially in solitary confinement. Bella May slumped onto her bed. She was in the doghouse now, big time. Her mom wasn't playing around. Bella May was starting to regret her actions. Maybe sneaking out to meet SpongeBob wasn't worth it after all. She had hurt her best friend, gotten her other friend in trouble, and disappointed her mom. Bella May was a mess, all because of one little adventure. Now, she had all the time in the world to think about it. Alone, in her room, grounded for life. Or at least it felt like it. <laughs>